Hi, this is Wayne. I want to take a few minutes and go over seven different components that you want to consider when you're purchasing headsets or headphones for your classroom or your computer lab. So the seven different components I want to cover, let me give you a quick rundown. It's going to be choosing between headsets and headphones. Next is plug types, on-ear versus over-ear, how you, you know, wear the devices. Next is what kind of microphone, if you want inline or a boom mic. Speaker volume control and why that's important. If foam or leather cushions are better. And last, sizing of headsets and headphones. So, all right, that's a quick preview, so let's get started. So first off is deciding between a headset and a headphone. And the difference there is real easy. Headsets have speakers and a microphone, where headphones only have speakers. There's no microphone. So this is really the first big fork in the road of deciding what's your application, you know, what are you plugging into, and how are you going to use either a headset or headphone. If your students simply need the ability to listen, all you need is just the basic, a little bit less expensive headphone because you don't have the extra mic built into it. So great choice for just listening into applications either on a computer or a tablet. Where if you have a need for a microphone where your students need to speak into the software, then you'll definitely want to look at headsets so you have the microphone. So the next up is plug types. And what that has to do with is what are you plugging into? What's at the bottom of the headset or headphone you're purchasing? And what are you plugging into for your device? So again, computers, tablets, they all have different connections. So the, the, t the most common newer plug is called a TRRS. This is a single 3.5 millimeter plug that gives you speaker and microphone capabilities on one plug. Again, newer computers, tablets use this. Older PCs use the dual plug. So they'll have the dual 3.5 plug. One carries microphone, one carries speaker. You will also have some devices that are a single 3.5 plug, but they only carry speaker. And then the last option is USB. So this is probably the most critical decision you'll have to make in purchasing headsets and headphones. So give us a call so you make sure you're getting you know, the right group of products to choose from according to what you're plugging into. So next step is on-ear versus over-the-ear. And simply, that means how do the speakers and cushions fit over your head? So this particular wearing style, you can see it's on the ear, so it just rests up against your ear. This works well in the average to quieter environment, where when you go over the ear, you're taking a cushion that's much bigger in size and it's going completely around your ear. So as you can see, a very different setup. You'll pay a little bit more for over the ear, but it does a better job of sealing off sound and distractions around your students so that they can hear better, stay focused better, and if you're doing online assessment testing, hopefully they will test better, you know, being more focused. Next up, the microphones. So you have two different microphone types. You have a boom mic, which is the traditional microphone that comes out, extends in front of your face or your mouth. And then you have an inline microphone. So that's where you just have the mic built into the cable. So pros and cons, the inline mic is a little more durable because it's inline. It's not something that can be pulled or tugged or, or broken very easy. The negative to the inline microphone is every time you turn your head, it changes how the microphone picks up your voice. So it's not quite as accurate. So it's a little more durable, but less accurate. Where a boom mic, you can really position it in front of a student's mouth and it picks up more accurately. The negative to it is it is another piece to the headset that could be damaged if students are rough with it. Alright, number five on my list here was speaker volume controls. This is important to take a look at different headsets and headphones and find out if they have the speaker volume. So this one has it right here, a simple dial. The advantage of having the dial is you can have your students quickly turn it up, turn it down so that they can comfortably hear. If you don't have a speaker adjustment, and, and you, you pay a little bit more for this, but I think it's well worth it, if you don't have an adjustment, now your student or yourself would have to go in, if they're having a hard time hearing, into the settings of your device 
and change the settings manually and, and that's time consuming and then you have to decide if you want your students in there messing with the settings of the computer because then they might you know affect something else that causes other issues with the computer so I think this is a good investment to have the dial on the headphones themselves so next up is foam versus leatherette so here's an example of a foam cushion foam is less expensive it's easier to replace but it's from a hygiene point of view it's not as good as leather because it can hold germs in there as you hand them off from student to student or maybe you know if you're using them throughout the day it's just not easy to sanitize so that's the the negative of foam it is from a sanitary point of view the positive is the expense when you compare that to the leather type cushions these you can wipe off real quick sanitize real easy they're both replaceable leatherette will be a little bit more expensive down the road one other option you can look at are ear cushion covers and that's where you just have a cover that goes over it and you can hand those out to students to you know help with the sanitary point of view um, the last thing I want to cover is the sizing of, of a headset and you want to make sure you're getting headphones or headsets that fit your students so younger students you want to make sure that it sizes down to comfortably fit over their head or older students you want to be able to extend the headband out and, and be able to cover you know the the larger head size here's an example of one that's really really works well for younger students because you have this bigger cushion so it gives you more flexibility to size it up or down so again seven different components to really think about and hopefully you know make your purchasing decision easier and, and make sure you get the right product for the needs you have for your students and for the applications you're using. Again, if you have questions on this or any other headsets and headphones, please give us a call at Headsets Direct, 1-800-914-7996, or visit us online at www.headsetsdirect.com. Thanks.